Today we'll take a look at Nicole Kidman throughout the years and see which facial plastic surgeries she may have had done. Stay tuned until the end to find out the total price of these procedures. In 1983, at the age of 16, you can see that the eyes here are really at the centerpiece of her face. They really bring out a lot of character and definition. The nose matches her face nicely. She does have a distinctive cleft between the lower lateral cartilages and this we will keep track of as we keep looking throughout the years because any changes to this cleft would really be a giveaway for a surgical type of modification. She does also have a nice strong jawline. In 1986 at the age of 19 you can see that Nicole has very nice horizontal thirds to her face. She has a great eyebrow fullness. She has a striking combination of eye color and hair color. She has good lip volume with upper tooth show on repose, which means when she slightly parts her mouth. In 1989, at the age of 22, you can see that Nicole Kidman has an incredible neckline. And I think one of the main reasons for this is that she has a hyoid bone that's positioned posterior and superior, which allows for that acute cervical mental angle to be created. In 1991, at the age of 24, what I'm seeing here are very strong cheekbones. You can see how the prominence of the cheekbone is out further lateral, closer to the tail of the eyebrow on that same vertical plane. When people overuse filler, they tend to fill more medially, closer to the center of the face but in a natural configuration, that most prominent zone of the cheek is more laterally oriented. You can also see in this picture that Nicole has an M-shaped hairline, and this is a variant of a normal female hairline. In 1993, at the age of 26, what you can see in this picture is that the lateral nasal wall is naturally medialized and it appears to be a little bit weaker. You can tell this by the deep supraalar crease that she has running across. Now in some patients this happens as a result of nasal surgery, but you can see in Nicole's case this is just her natural nose. It's possible to have normal breathing with this type of nasal configuration. In patients who've had numerous nasal surgeries, sometimes when they reach this type of lateral wall weakening, they can experience some difficulty with the nasal breathing. In this image as well, you can see a nice bony transition on the right side from the malar prominence to the inframalar hollowing and back to the gonial prominence. In 1994, at the age of 27, I'm not seeing any changes. In 1995, at the age of 28, you can see here that Nicole Kidman's upper eyelids are starting to appear heavier. She has the loss of a supratarsal crease, and this is more prominent on the right side compared to her left. Of note also, the right eyebrow is positioned higher than the left, and this is largely to compensate for this difference of eyelid position between the right and the left side. In 1996, at the age of 29, I'm not seeing any changes. Same in 1997. In 1998, at the age of 31, you can see that the supratarsal crease is evident mainly when Nicole animates with her eyebrows elevated. That brings out that supratarsal crease. The infratip cleft of the nose, as we mentioned earlier in this talk, is still preserved and I don't see any signs of any nasal procedures. In 1999, at the age of 32, there are no further changes. Same in 2000. 2002, age 35, I'm not seeing any obvious changes. In 2003, at the age of 36, we're starting to see that Nicole seems to be getting some lip filler and some neuromodulation, such as with Botox. You can see that the forehead, the crow's feet, and the glabella are very smooth and smoother than you'd otherwise expect for a 36-year-old. So it looks like there is the use of Botox and her lips just have more fullness, especially of the upper lip compared to her prior upper lip configuration. And that is most likely due to HA lip filler. In 2004, at the age of 37, what I'm starting to see is that the mouth corners are beginning to turn down a slight bit. 2005, age 38, 
no further change. Same in 2006 and 2007. In 2008, at the age of 41, you can see these obvious changes to her upper red lip. As she's smiling, you could see the irregularity of the upper red lip when you look from the left to the right side. There are various waves and pockets of lip filler. Um, in those locations. In 2009, at the age of 42, I'm starting to see some significant changes around the eyes. It looks to me that Nicole Kidman may have had an upper blepharoplasty with a possible ptosis repair to correct any levator muscle weakness of the upper eyelid. She may have also had a lower blepharoplasty around this time. I'm seeing signs of less hollowing under the lower eyelid. Also, it looks like Nicole Kidman may have had a brow lift around this time to go with her upper blepharoplasty and lower blepharoplasty. That is a frequent combination and one that gives her a different look compared to the images that I see prior. In 2010, there are no further changes. Same in 2011. In 2012, at the age of 45, it looks like Nicole Kidman is starting to get more cheek filler. Her cheeks have always been prominent, but now it looks like there is even more volume in that area. Please make sure to subscribe to this channel. From 2013 to 2020, I'm not seeing any significant changes with Nicole Kidman's facial appearance. In 2021, at the age of 54, when you compare the tragus of the ear on the right hand side, such as in this image, compared to when she was 46, you can see the obvious differences there. It looks to me like around this time she may have had a mini facelift. The jawline looks overall improved and maintained and I'm not seeing a major shift of the mid face so that to me says that it probably was more of a mini facelift that didn't encompass also a mid facelift at the same time. However, when you look at her Instagram image from May of 2022, you can see that there are obvious changes here and to me these look like signs of a deep plain facelift. Now the mid face has been addressed and lifted. Also, you're seeing a shift in the sideburn area compared to what came before. So that again is an indication of a additional facelift. In this case, likely a deep plane facelift. Also, if you look at the tail of her eyebrow, it looks to me like it's been lifted as well. So this is a sign of a temporal brow lift that may have been done at the same time as the deep plane facelift. The total cost of all of these procedures on the high end is $420,000. Since you enjoyed this video on Nicole Kidman, please check out our discussion on facial asymmetry. We use this channel to educate people on various facial plastics procedures, and we hope that this video delivered as always. I'm just thinking about the jump cuts. <laughs>